Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tanya, and the one holding the camera is my daughter, Savannah. Today we're doing a little vlog. We are doing a coffee run, we're, but we're going to McDonald's instead of Dunkin'. And uh, Savannah was gone all weekend in Chicago, all of Mother's Day weekend for her one year anniversary with her boyfriend. And uh, she got out kind of tell us about how her weekend went. Yeah. So, if you guys don't know the story of us, um, we've the known story e of us. <laughs> we've known each other for like nine years since middle school, and we started hanging out senior year, and then he asked me to be his girlfriend on prom night. So, yeah, and then it's been a year, and it's crazy. It feels like it's been a lot longer, but it's also weird that we can say we've been together for a year now. But I don't remember what life was like before. That year went really fast. It did. I don't remember what life was like before though, to be honest. So we decided to go to Chicago for our anniversary and we stayed for two nights. Um, the first night... Was drama. Yeah. So we called ahead to make the reservation for the hotel. And the lady was like, well, okay, so the first place we called they were like, it's a city policy, you cannot check in if you're under 21. So we were like, okay. But we called another place, and they were like, oh, for sure you can check in under 21, you're fine. So we set the reservations, and then we get there, and the lady at the front desk is like, no, you have to have someone 21 or up. And not only that, they got there really late at night to begin with. Yeah. So it was like, what, midnight when you were being told no? You yeah, can't? we had nowhere to go. We just wanted to go to our hotel. Like, we wanted to go to bed. And they chose a fancy-ass hotel, too. Like, <laughs> Oh, his dad made fun of us. He's like, do you realize you guys got a luxury hotel? We're like, we have high-quality taste. They stayed at the Hilton. <laughs> I've never even stayed at a Hilton. <laughs> Hilton Garden Inn. Look at that. Oreo, is that a shake? Oreo frappe? frappe? Ew, no. That, that would be way too sweet. But anyway, we're lucky because his parents were in Chicago at the time, so they came and checked us out. I need two large vanilla iced coffees with extra sugar and Cream. one large Diet Coke with no ice. Cream. <laughs> so yeah, the first night we got there, we watched a movie together, um, Watch is Perfect. And then we got up the next morning we went to lunch in Mexico town. We got some authentic tacos. They were really good. And then um, we went to the aquarium and I got to be a little kid and I saw the seahorses with no arms. And then we went out to this um, Mexican ice cream uh, shop and they have a really, really good yogurt. Like it was so good. But it's not frozen yogurt, you said? Mm, no, it's just regular yogurt. But why but would it's they... like liquidy and it's really good. Okay, it was really good. Liquidy though? And you, it was so good, bro. Oh my god. It was better than regular yogurt. I can't. Can't eat regular yogurt ever again. Not bad. Also, y'all, he bought me a really nice necklace. It's really cute. I love it. And you guys saw what she got him because we fucked that. I told him to stop spending money on me though. <laughs> Actually, you didn't show the artwork. Oh, I have pictures of it. Okay, I'll add pictures of the two paintings that Savannah made for him because they're really good. And I wrote him a letter. He wrote me a letter for Mother's Day and that was the sweetest letter ever. What were we talking about a second ago? Your trip? Your to pay for the trip? For you're gonna pay for the trip. I don't think I sounded like that. You're gonna. <laughs> you're gonna. Is that what I said? Yeah. Don't y'all know every word has R's. Don't you know? Okay, no, I'm not from Minnesota. Nah. We're going to Dakota. Well, when people do Midwestern accents, that's what's really annoying. They're only doing those two states. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. Those are the only places that sound like that. And then Chicago and Wisconsin, they sound the same. Oh. We sound more like St. Louis. I always forget that, like, to us, Canada is northern. Yeah. 
but like oh, they're like well i'm southern because i'm southern canadian well most canadians are in the southern border okay guys i had to stop and get gas for a second so savannah can uh finish her story now i don't remember what we were talking about you went to bed at what four in the morning yeah we went to bed at four in the morning because i got high <laughs> and um yeah, we watched Pitch Perfect together for the first time ever. We had so many firsts on this trip. Watching Pitch Perfect together was one of them. Well, has he seen it before you? Yes. Okay. But we've never seen it together. And it was so funny. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, the next day we... The next day we went to the aquarium. We went to lunch. We got this amazing yogurt and ice cream. And we hung out in the hotel. I gave him a spa night, did his skincare. I plucked his eyebrows, plucked one of his belly hairs, and he got mad. Why would you do that? That would hurt. He, he gave me permission. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. And then they, we got high again, to, but together this time. And we were laughing at each other for like an hour straight. And then we went to bed <laughs> and then woke up and took forever to come home because we took forever and I we didn't come home right away we went to my friend's house to all those people who think I can't keep a man <laughs> I killed him with my fart just so everyone knows you want to hear something ridiculous ridiculous see being it's in the US at 18, you're a legal adult, right? But honestly, you that do, should you not. You can only do two things: you can vote and you can buy lottery tickets. Exactly. Way. So, literally, what's the point of being a legal adult if you can't do legal, if you can't legally do things adults can do? They own. You can't drink. You can't smoke. You can't get a hotel. You can't get a or you can't rent a car. Go. Nope. The uh, age that you have to wait to be to, before you can do everything adults can do is 25. It's ridiculous. It's stupid, guys. Like, seriously. Uh, in back in the day, when I when I was a kid, uh, the legal age to buy cigarettes and stuff was 18. So everyone was excited to turn 18. But now you have to wait to be 21. So is that all you're going to talk about your... Uh Trip. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, we just kind of hung out. They made it in good time, though. They made it there in two hours, and but they also went really late at night. Usually, it takes us like three hours because we go like during the day and there's traffic. Josie um, put on Father Stew, and he literally only did it because he knew that I would want to see Cody Fern. What a nice one year anniversary gift. Here, look at your boyfriend. It's not, I don't even have a crush on Cody Fern anymore. It's just I like what? him. I only have a crush on Josie. I think that's a lie. I think you do have a crush. I only have a crush on Josie. Okay, but back in the day, like when I was a Dolan Twins fanatic, for instance, I used to think if I have a husband in the future and like one of the Dolan Twins came up to me because they're like, famous and stuff i would literally leave my husband for a dolan twin but now now that i'm older and i see that celebrities are just the most trash people <laughs> but also just like they're just people i would never leave josie for anyone Other updates i don't know we're taking a trip next month yeah, they're gonna go down to uh, garden of the gods because illinois also has a garden of the gods there's like the one that's most people know it's in Colorado, but there's another one in Illinois. Believe it or not, Illinois is not all flat land. There's there's like mountainous er uh, areas and like a lot of beautiful nature in Illinois. Yeah, and we were like, there's mountains? It's down in southern Illinois. We sang all the way home. Did you? What kind of songs? <laughs> Three Days Grace, Disney, no, we, musicals. We listened to pop for majority and then we started listening to rock but it was funny because we just listened to like I, at one point dad's favorite pop song came on what he loves the song closer by the chain smokers 
You're listening to One Republic, Tayo Cruz. Anyone my age knows Tayo Cruz. I'm only gonna break, break your, break, break your heart. Yeah, we grew up I used on to that. Dance around in the kitchen to that song. Oh. I have, I actually have a home video to of you that and your song. You and your brother dancing to that. Wait, which one? That song. Which one? Dynamite or Break Your Heart? Break Your Heart. Like, there's a video of you going like this, like with the doing the heart. Oh yeah. Oh, that's so embarrassing. <laughs> but yeah, we were listening to that. One Republic. Um, Coldplay. Lots of very early 2000s stuff. 21 Pilots. Jason Derulo, Usher. <coughs> Fergie. Stuff I Rihanna. And then we started listening to rock after. We did like a switch over halfway through the trip. We have very varied music tastes. We can literally go from listening to Eminem, to Hamilton, to Katy Perry, to Three Days Grace, like. All of my mixed CDs are like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess that's gonna be it for this vlog. Um, I don't think we really talked about anything that entertaining, but. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. I just love talking about my relationship. I'm a narcissist. All right, well, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't done that yet. And we'll see you next time. Bye, poopies.